Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching eScoding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to print increasing and decreasing pyramids, star pattern pyramids with JavaScript. So let's get started. This is basically decreasing pyramid. This is increasing pyramid. So in this video, we are going to just cover these two pyramids. In the coming videos, I'll cover more patterns pyramid patterns okay so let's get started if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe and go ahead and fire up your editor create a file name it so I'm gonna say uh, so I and D pyramid it doesn't matter what I call it so here we go now I'm going to write two functions and run them in my browser you can use Google Chrome or any browser or your preferred text editor to write this code so let's get started this is going to be my increasing oops, pyramid hopefully you can see this now it's visible hopefully and then I'm going to write a function and I'm going to say ink para. so this is going to be my incremental pyramid and I'm going to take uh, integer value of rows so how many rows I want to print and then I want to create a for loop in here simple for loop so let uh, equal to this is going to be incrementing increasing pyramid so it's going to start from zero i uh, is less than or equal to uh, the rows i want to keep increasing my r uh, here and then i want to write my code so it's very simple we are going to use uh, repeat function which is a string repeat function or anything whatever you have to repeat for certain times so uh, i'm going to create another variable and i'm going to say pyramid and in this pyramid i'm going to build this pyramid with my star in one space and i want to repeat this for certain times so repeat for i so i is going to be incrementing from zero so basically one two three four five till five and it will keep repeating that these values for and adding to this pyramid and at the same time i want to go ahead and console log uh, for like each time right each pyramid in the loop now I can go ahead and run this code and see if it's working. So I'm going to give less than five. And to run this code, I can simply press this button. This is basically, uh, I'm running source and then under source, I've got in snippets and created this file and I'm getting this option. So it's working. You can see this is basically incremental increasing pyramid looks like I will have to decrease the font size so now you can see it's working and that's awesome so what next is going to be is going to be decreasing pyramid so let's go ahead and comment this one and then create uh, sorry decreasing pyramid and then I'm going to create a function and I'm simply going to say uh, whatever name you want to give so again it's going to receive a value argument which is going to be the number of rows I want to print I can make it six five whatever I want right and then almost the same thing here so let's write the for loop again so it's going to be i sorry let i 
and you can call it J, whatever your name you want to give. And it's going to be equal to rows, this number. Now you want to decrease from rows to 0 or 1, whatever you call it. And then I is greater or equal to this one, 0 or 1. I would go with 1. And then you want to keep decreasing the i's value each in each loop right and everything is going to be the same here so i'm going to copy this on and print it so and now if i go ahead and there's a five so hopefully it's going to work. Let's see. And you can see this time it's decreasing the pyramid pattern. So basically that's how you write increasing and decreasing yeah, pyramids in JavaScript or star patterns. There are different things you can do uh, here. But this is just to get you started. So how it's doing, it's very simple. But this is most basic so in the next video i'm going to cover how things work and we are going to create more patterns similar patterns actual pyramid right like this using the same method so uh, let me decrease the font size and run both together Going to run it again and you can see this is being printed like this now because i'm running these two together so it's increasing and decreasing like this okay so however i should simply go ahead and console logs if i want to separate them right And now if I go ahead and clear and run it again, you'll see two. So first increasing and then decreasing pyramids. Okay, so that's it for this video guys. In the next video, I'm going to create more pyramids and we'll be able to explain how things work. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Bye.